Before we launch in, I just want a little programming note um, for those of you who were paying attention. Uh, I, I had a heart attack at the beginning of the month, so I'm a little behind. I'm a little running slow. If I seem off at all, that's that's why. Um, uh, I've gotten a lot of great messages uh, from you kids. I've got a lot of wonderful cards and things. I just want to thank everybody for it. Uh, it, it, it really means a lot. Um, it's going to mean things like I'm not going to hold up the book the entire show like I normally do, though, because my arms get tired. and oh, But I'm healing, and everything's going great. So so thank you all. Um, our guests this week, or month, I should say, uh, we have Kel McDonald and Kate Ashwin, who are the editors of the book. They also did stories in the book. Um, and so welcome to you both. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Nixie is European uh, fairy tales, which mm -hmm. tends to be what the American and UK audiences are familiar with. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you also have one that's African. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I saw that the new one is going to be Oceana. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it more difficult? <laughs> there you go. Uh, is it more difficult to get people to um, participate in doing stories that aren't a culture that they're necessarily familiar with. And sort of the follow-up to that is, are you providing sources uh, for, for any of these stories? So for Africa and Asia, we provided some sources. Mm -hmm. um, but um, for Oceana, and we're also working on North America, we only invited people of that cultural background. So um, oh, interesting. they know their own stories, so we don't have to provide research. Mm -hmm. Sure. I think it uh, ends up with a much uh, more interesting and unique book as well as a result. Are there other projects like this that you would want to do? Or, or when you get through these, the six books, is, is that what you see at the end of anthology? So we're talking to Spike now and Iron Circus about when these are done doing shorter ones that are in color and like are deeper cut because mm. um, some regions due to like what people are interested in, they get a little bit ignored um, because we were doing such a broad look. So like right now we're planning the North America one, it's mostly going to be Native American folklore. Um, but uh, there aren't a whole lot of Mexican stories in there or Puerto Rican stories in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then Russia kind of gets ignored in the mm -hmm. Europe one. So we're kind of going to try to do ones that are um, smaller in color. Um just focusing on like, okay, so here's one that is just Russia. Here's one that is, mm -hmm. so just like doing a deeper dive into a specific region. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah. Very hard to boil all of Asia down to uh, yeah. Yeah, 250 pages. Yeah, in particular, pages, Asia so. in particular <laughs> that they're, it's a wide lens and a lot yeah. of people, if they know any, probably only know China or Japan and mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And when you're, uh, I, I just because I'm curious, when you, the Oceana book, is that, uh, is that like New Zealand, Australia, or are you also including like Hawaiian in there? Hawaiian's in there. The Philippines mm -hmm. are in there. Oh. Um, Pacific Islands mostly. Yeah. So it's kind of like any Pacific Islands, like New Zealand's in there. Um, Australia could be in there, but um, they're, native cultures are not supposed to share their folklore. So Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, so that is um, like they could, if they wanted to, but it goes against what they're supposed to do. So Un understood. Understood. You see, you learn something new every day. This is, mm -hmm. I love working. <laughs> how about this? When you put together an anthology, how, what's the process like? 
Uh, so we usually come up with a list of like 50 people and send out invites expecting to get a no or no answer from half of mm -hmm. them. And so then like 25 people left uh, and then we expect a few of them to drop out. So we usually end up between 15 and 20 people per book. So, Okay. Um, are you, uh, are you just telling them, uh, what do you want to do for it? Or, or are you trying to assign out stories? Cause I could see, for example, you know, six people going, oh, I'll do Pinocchio or whatever. Well, so, um, we don't assign the stories. We tell people like, please pick a story by this time. But if you pick it faster, you get dibs on that story. Yep. <laughs> So in the case of five people want to adapt Pinocchio, it's, well, which one of them responded to our email first? <laughs> very good. It's a very scientific method. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you guys have uh, kids around you, be it a sibling or a cousin or something that you're bouncing ideas off of, or are you just... Um, <laughs> no, there are no kids into in the my kids life. Inside yourself? <laughs> Uh, I've got a couple of nephews, but they're uh, like uh, three and two. So if you ask them about comics, they're just like, Spider-Man, I love Spider-Man. And you can't really, uh, you know, they will they will tell you a magnificent story about uh, the Hulk pu pu punching the Joker or something, but they're not great for, uh, for ideas about things, uh, about more intricate things at the moment. Uh, uh, when they get a bit older, though, I cannot wait to give them these books. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, whereas there's no kids in my daily life, so. <laughs> so how do you how do you um, how do you figure out what is kid appropriate or what isn't or what would interest a kid? I just do what would I want to read as a kid. Sure. So yeah. <laughs> Well, I want to I want to thank you two for coming and joining us uh, today. Um, I thought Nixie was a was a fun book. Uh, we've heard a lot of positive yeah. from the kids, um, and uh, you know it's it's there are multiple books in the series, and here there's the mm -hmm. girl carrying the skull right in my the other side, side. reverse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, that wasn't planned either. That was actually state sitting there. So. <laughs> um, uh, and there's going to be three more books in the series too, which is, is a fantastic thing to, um, to do. Um, uh, so look forward to those. I want to thank, uh, Cal McDonald and Kate Ashwin for coming and joining us today, uh, and talking about this and talking about anthologies and how they're made and this process of putting it together. Cause I think a lot of this stuff is kind of mysterious to a lot of people. Um, <laughs> and it's always great to hear that. Um, and so thank you very much for taking the time, uh, and, and being here with us today. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. It, was, it was lovely to be here. <laughs> absolutely. Um, I also would like to thank, uh, my crew. I would like to thank Jordan for, uh, for doing all the tech support and doing the show, uh, shooting it. I would love to thank my staff for being wonderful and lovely. Um, I want to thank the beat for being our sponsor, uh, which will help us get out there more. Um, if you, if the book sounds interesting to you, um, uh, certainly we can sell it to you, but you can buy many other places, but every single month we pick a book like this, uh, that's as good as this. Um, so you can certainly join our club, uh, at graphic novel club.com slash kids. That's the only plug I'm going to give. Next month's book <laughs> is Shirley and Jamila Save Their Summer um, uh, by Gillian. I actually don't know how you pronounce her last name. Gorez, I think. Uh, but we'll find that out next month. Um, this is a fun book, and I think you're going to like this a lot. So that's next month. We will be back. But this was this month's book. Uh, and again, thanks, everybody, for participating. And we will see you next month. Bye. Bye.